Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm just going to show you really quickly kind of a brief overview of the Pin 1 mainboard. I've already done a video on the Pin 1 Mini, so if you're trying to figure out what one you should buy, uh, be sure to check out that video as well. Uh, but the Pin 1 mainboard is they're pretty similar actually. The big difference is Pin 1 mainboard is made for a larger pinball cabinet, essentially. Pin 1 Mini is for a very small cabinet. Pin 1 Mini is actually the one that I put inside of my uh, mini machines. So it's all kind of mini themed. Uh, but the Pin 1 mainboard, uh, it has all of the uh, high power outputs built into it. So there's 12 of these total. One of them is actually a motor speed controller so you can easily hook up a, uh, a shaker motor up to it. And it also has exposed on here the button board connections, which the mini does not have that as well. So one thing you'll notice right off the bat, it has extra outputs, high power outputs, and it does not have the button uh, LED outputs on it. It does actually have these green terminals here so you can connect buttons up to it. And these are the quick connect connectors that you know you can use a little, it's got little screw tabs on it and then you can put pretty much any wire in here you want up to about probably 16 gauge comfortably. So it has that, so you can connect buttons up to it easily. But the in order to get the LED outputs for your buttons, you'll have to tie it into the button board that I sell. And this one's a little bit different from the button board I used to sell. It's got all these JST-XH uh, connectors on them so that you can easily plug in all your LEDs. It was just a huge hassle to actually use these green terminals for every single button. So this just makes it a little bit easier. You can just plug and unplug them. I sell the wires on my site so you can hook them up to my uh, buttons. And I also sell extenders for them. So if you need to be longer, you can just get these little, I sell like these little, I think 20 centimeter extensions. You can easily just uh, link them together and make it as long as you need for all of these. So, so you see these, these ribbon cables just plug into the actual pin one main board right here, right here. And now once you plug those in, you have easy access to 14 button inputs and uh, the outputs, the lighted outputs for 14 of your buttons as well. And of course you do need those flipper sides. Those come with the button kit so that you can plug in the, uh, the uh, magna saves and the uh, RGB buttons. So that's, that's pretty much it there. The other thing that this has is the plunger input on it. I didn't have on the old bunch of, uh, button board, but it just makes sense. This is usually going to be mounted close to the front of your cabinet, and now you have your plunger inputs that you can just put right there, and it works great. So that's kind of the two biggest differences on this. <clears throat> and of course, it's really nice because without even having an expansion board, you can have 14 lighted outputs, light lighted button outputs, and then an additional 12 solenoid or toy outputs and so it pretty much covers like a lot of what you'd want to do in just one small little package and then of course if you want to add light bar you can add this expansion board it just plugs in right here and you can see I always make sure the black wire on here is going to ground so if you just look at this here's my expansion board black wire is going to the one labeled G and D ground and then same thing over here. I've got my expansion board outputs here. And the black one, I'll make sure is going to ground there. And so that's how I connect my expansion board. So I can just have this sitting next to it or wherever I want. And I switched to this, this four pin cable. It's just a lot easier to manage again. So your cable management is really nice and easy to, to work out with this board. <clears throat> and then, the, then from here, you'd plug in your light bar. I'll also have a high power expansion board, which is really nice because that high power one has 16 additional high power outputs and you can hook up to four separate power supplies to it. So there's a bank of four for each power supply input. And so you can have, you know, you can mix a 12 volt, a 24 volt, or even if you wanted to go higher than that, you could as well. Um, so that's, oh, one other thing too. There's uh, these 
low level outputs as well. So this kind of gives you uh, signal level outputs that you can use for various different things. Uh, in this case, one of them I have labeled for the knocker, which will connect directly into the knocker kit that I sell, which is nice to have. And there's two here, it's just 14 and 15, you can use those for whatever you want. <clears throat> and again, same software that controls all of this. I have recently added some nice features to the software, but for the most part, it's the same as it was before. Um, the biggest thing is now in the input screen, you can now assign keyboard keys to every button if you'd like to do that. And so you can just click this button and assign the key and it'll say, hey, the G, G key is now gonna get triggered when you hit button one. And it actually dual triggers. So it'll trigger button one in the joystick and it'll also trigger the G key on the keyboard. So you kind of get both functionalities if you want to have that. Uh, outside of that, that's pretty much it. It's easy to use. Um, and uh, it's pretty similar to the previous boards that I've had. But again, made for a little bit of a bigger cabinet. This obviously could run a full size cabinet just fine, especially when you add the expansion board on it. And again, hopefully uh, you enjoy the stuff. Hopefully this gives you some information about it. One thing I do want to show is that all these boards are all replaceable. So if you have any issues in the future, you can usually just pull them out and replace them. And it's just nice to have that peace of mind in case anything were to go wrong. Obviously, the pin one also pulls out. So everything is, it's, this is pretty much just a junction board in, in itself. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.